Welcome to Lesson 1.3's Math Moment. Today students learned about equivalent fractions and how multipliers and divisors help them to make equivalent fractions. So we're going to look at our first example which shows that 4 tenths is equal to 20 fiftieths. Students need to determine what the multiplier is that helps to make those fractions the same or equivalent. So one strategy that we teach students is to think 4 times what gives me 20? So they could count by fours, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. 4 times 5 gives us 20. So then we would also, anything we do to the top, we also do to the bottom. So if you take times 5, then you'll take the bottom times 5 as well. 4 times 5 gives you 20. 4 times 5 gives you, or 10 times 5 gives you 50. So the multiplier is 5 to make those fractions equivalent. With this next problem, we're going to take the exact strategy that we used up here and just do the opposite with division. So we have 30 fortieths is equal to 3 fourths. And we need to decide what is the divisor that connects those two and makes them the same. So we could take 30 divided by what equals 3 and 40 divided by what equals 4. Division sometimes is trickier. So another way that you could think about it is working backwards and say 3 times what gives me 30 and 4 times what gives me 40, which is a pretty simple fact for kiddos. So if you think 3 times 10 gives me 30, and 4 times 10 gives me 40, so 40 divided by 10 would give you 4, and 30 divided by 10 would give you 3, so your divisor is 10. Another strategy that we built upon um, from yesterday's lesson was working with equivalent fraction chains. So students were able to take a unit fraction and build an equivalent fraction chain by um, multiplying the top and the bottom by the same number. So for instance, if they wanted to take 1 fourth times the top and the bottom by 2, 1 times 2 is 2, 4 times 2 is 8, so therefore 1 fourth and 2 eighths are equivalent. They could then take 1 fourth and take the top times 3, the bottom times 3, 1 times 3 is 3, 4 times 3 is 12, to show that 3 twelfths is also a part of the equivalent fraction chain. And we'll do one more. So we start with that same unit fraction. Students could take 1 times 4 and 4 times 4 to get 4 sixteenths, which is now also part of that equivalent fraction. All of these fractions are equal because we took the, the numerator and the denominator times the same number. Good luck with lesson 1.3. See your teacher if you have any more questions.